Alright, welcome back to another video. Today, or tonight, actually, we're going to do a tail motor mod for, on the Bell 206 third generation. So we're just going to flip it on the other side and do that real quick. So what we're going to do is unscrew this. Make the right size. So you're going to need a 2mm, I think it is. 2M. So we're going to take off the... Alright, to get the motor off, you're going to need a 1.5 millimeter tool. Okay, so just want to talk over the prop direction. When there's no tail motor mod and when your motor is on the right side, you're going to use a 5045, which the numbers are facing inwards. So if you see, it's supposed to look like that, but on the right side. Now, when you're doing the mod, you're going to need to get a prop that's a 45R. And the numbers are facing out. So that's pretty much it. I just want to make sure that everyone understands this when you're doing this mod so you don't have any uh, mishaps. The motor itself is a clockwise motor for a tail motor. And your main rotor right here is also clockwise. So just make sure you have your tail prop for this uh, mod correct. And this mod is using the standard tail motor that comes in the ready to fly in the plug and play version for the Flywing helicopter. All right, lift off. There we go. <laughs> Another successful modification. All right. Oh, and it's so much quieter, too. Um, so, you know, I think people are saying it gives you about an 80% noise reduction. Uh, it is quieter. I'll give it that. Oh, got an airplane guy taking off. So we're about four minutes in, you know. <laughs> it's really responsive, I like it. Uh, the mod is very easy. Just got to make sure you uh, have the right prop. And also, I'm using the stock tail motor still. 
So yeah. Well, I hope this mod helps you guys out. If you like more, like and subscribe to the channel. Have a good one.